Hey guys, this is That Windows Dev with BitesizeTech.net, and today we're going to talk about what's good about the Windows Phone community, what's not so good about it, and the big difference between Windows Phone and Windows 10 Mobile. Before we get into the video, I'd really appreciate it if you guys hit the subscribe button below. That way you'll always stay updated on the weekly videos I post about Windows Phone and Xbox. With that being said, let's start off by highlighting some positives the Windows Phone community has. First off, the Windows Phone community is probably the most active community there is for phones. A vast majority of Windows Phone users are loyal and very opinionated when it comes to apps, updates, and new handsets, which is great for Microsoft because Windows Phone is built with the customer in mind. I've also noticed that Windows Phone fans love to post pictures on social media. People with Lumia and other Windows Phones love taking pictures and I can see why. With all the photography apps we have and great hardware, I don't see why people wouldn't take pictures. We also tend to like lots of other products besides Windows Phone and openly converse about how great Microsoft products really are, which ultimately gives Microsoft free promotion. Now let's talk about a couple downsides to the Windows Phone community. One thing I noticed about Windows Phone fans is that we can sometimes separate ourselves from average users. What I mean by that is we divide the social media presence of Windows Phone by calling Windows Phone Windows 10 Mobile. Don't get me wrong, it's right to call it Windows 10 Mobile, but a vast majority of people that promote Windows 10 Mobile are die-hard fans while newer fans only know Windows Phone. You see more newcomers on social media talking about Windows Phone rather than Windows 10 Mobile because they usually don't know what it is. Now, Microsoft can easily fix this problem by shipping Windows phones with Windows 10 Mobile out the box so people who disliked Windows Phone because of 7.5 or 8.1 could look at how much Windows Phone has improved compared to the older software. Another painfully annoying thing I noticed was how people love to say Windows Phone is dead. I swear it's clickbait because we all know Windows Phone is far from dead but I'll tell you why soon. Lastly, the Windows Phone community needs to use the term Windows Phone more instead of Windows 10 Mobile. Windows 10 Mobile is the operating system you're running on your what? Windows Phone. Of course, the Windows 10 Mobile software is better than 8.1, but regardless of what software you have, it's still running on a Windows Phone. Saying Windows Phone compared to Windows 10 Mobile does matter, and you can see why I feel like this does matter in the article below. Now, let's finally talk about Windows Phone versus Windows 10 Mobile. First of all, two big differences between the two are their names and their software. If we take a closer look at Windows Phone 8.1, it was great and introduced a lot of the features we love and use on Windows 10 and Windows 10 Mobile. For example, Cortana started on Windows Phone 8.1 and made it to the PC, Xbox, iPhone, and Android. Action Center came to late 8.1 and ended up making it to the PC, and the software that we use for our keyboards made it to tablets and iPhones. If you pay attention to Xbox, Windows 10, and Windows Phone, you can really see how much time Microsoft's putting into making universal apps and features look good across all their products, which isn't the easiest thing to do. To be honest, Windows 10 Mobile is a much better operating system compared to 8.1 because of the fully customizable home screen, Action Center, and Cortana alone. Let's not forget that Windows 10 Mobile has file managers so you have full control over your files, a much better email system powered by Microsoft's Outlook, and a new store with plenty of regular apps as well as universal apps made specifically for anything running Windows 10. Before we end this video, I want everyone that thinks Windows Phone is dead to pay attention. In 2015, Microsoft sold 9.3 million Lumias in the first quarter, which was a big increase from the 8.8 .8 million they already sold in 2014. Microsoft also went on to sell 10.5 million in the second quarter compared to the 9.3 million in the last quarter, with the following year being a great 
year for Windows Phone. Microsoft still made profit after spending hundreds of millions of dollars on their deal with Nokia. And to be honest, we sold more Windows phones than that because that's only the Lumia line. That's not including the sales we made from other Windows phone manufacturers. Hey guys, if you like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe and like button below so you'll always know when I upload a video. I make Windows phone videos every week and Xbox videos all week. This is That Windows Dev with BiteSizeTech.net and thanks for watching.